morning welcome to wind song ah this is the rv this is our kitchen bathroom kind of area we got a little overhang i've been working on ah not too early in the morning it's kind of cold so the day starts slower right about it's snowing already this year so all the birds are around hanging out at our feeders out in front heading down for the chickens this morning so walk down to the chickens isn't too bad of one Everything's spaced out out here. We have separate buildings, lots of stuff. <laughs> Over here is Callista's Playhouse behind the trees there. That's a uh, playhouse I picked up on Craigslist for 80 bucks, brought home and put back together. It's quite a feat, and she really enjoys it. It's 8 by 8 on a 10 by 10 deck. Oh, about 8, 9 foot in the air, so it's pretty nice. And there's our well power supply. And we're still hooked to the grid, of course. And here's the grandpa cabin with all of his firewood hanging out. So, yeah, now we have about a dozen chickens. We lost one a couple weeks ago to a coyote. <coughs> Forgot to shut the gate. So, uh, that's the basement that's no longer really being used. We got the storage sheds. Got our generator out so we can fire it up occasionally. Now we're down here to the chicken coops. So, right by the chicken coops, we've got quite a bit of woods area behind it. And let's display set. So, let's take a look at the coops and see what the chickens are up to. I don't know how to switch the camera when I'm in this. See if I can get it to go. No, well, it won't let me switch the camera. But, so, here's our chicken coop. Built this one with just a few sheets of plyboard. Well, OSB board. And some 2 by 6 I actually tore off a really big pallet that we had. So we had this big pallet. And we got it for free, and I took 2 by 6s off. Built a nice big chicken coop for chickens to hang out in. And they're all down in there. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. There's Sly, our rooster, up in the top. We got the heat lights on for him. It's been really cold lately. They're antsy to get out. I haven't let them out yet this morning. So, it'll look nice and comfy. It's pretty warm in there. And then around the back, we've got. That little thing there, that's just pine straw, pine needles. Uh, we use throw out in the coop area during the winter so they have something to walk on. And then we've got our straw straw for in the coops. And then around the back, we've got our laying boxes. You know, all that. I just put that on recently. And of course, now we've got a nice new front gate I put in recently. I built this gate, dropped it in the ground. Because it just makes life easier. So now we got something to go in and out of with ease. Now in here, we've got Sly, our rooster, separated out. He has this area here. That's his little covered spot for his food and his water when it's snowing or raining. That's his little coop over there. We put him in with the girls at night because they don't bother him at night. But during the daytime, they will eat his feathers off. So... Now under here, this is the most recent addition. We've got a couple pool covers that we've put over top of an A-frame that I built. Just a simple A-frame, uh, nothing major, a few nails. Um, and put the covers on it. And now the chickens have a covered area for the winter. And so this is Fort Chicken, as it's so properly called. And working on that roof over there. I've got it covered with pool edging for a rubber material. It's, Vinyl actually, but and then I'm putting cedar shake singles on for the look and right back up that hill there behind me That's where we feed the deer so, Welcome to Fort Chicken 